Welcome back to the Monster Garden. The dwarf figure is now available. In the description below, there is a link to the Merchcraft website where you can get one. Again, there is a stock of 500 of them, and depending on how well it goes, we'll see about more runs. But for now, there are 500. I am incredibly happy with how they turned out, both the modeling done by Cameron Bai and Merchcraft, who realized it into an actual thing. It turned out beautifully. I couldn't be more proud of it. The poly stone it's made of gives it a good heft, and the paint job is wonderful. It's so shiny. And, of course, you can take its head off and put stuff inside. It is not food safe, by the way, so don't put any food in it. And, if you get one, don't do anything weird with it. Please. Anyway, let's get right into the video. The War Boar a brutish tank domesticated and bred by Rom, used to transport the supplies from Rom's various facilities to the front lines, or as a war steed fitted with armor and weapons. They are built like walking bunkers, fearless and unstoppable. The natural habitat of these things apparently used to be the swamps, plains, and edges of forests that used to be within the war zone. But that was a long time ago. Nowadays, you won't find one without a brand on it. I also heard they used to be smaller, half the size they are now. But Ram, of course being Ram, bred them to be the ruthless beasts they are today. The armor they are clad with also is often decorated to make the warbors look even more beastly adding horns, spikes, and other details to elevate it from an already imposing creature into a demon. Honestly, I'm really happy with how this design turned out, though I can't take credit for it, as it was Shabby and Sedeka who came up with the idea of using a... 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 a plati... Plat, platibelodon? Platibelodon. Platibelodon. Close enough, probably. And, and turning it into a boar, which is honestly genius. Uh, they drew this, and I pretty much just added my own little touches to get to this point. So yeah, full credit to them for coming up with this. Uh, the armor as well, especially the headpiece, I am incredibly happy with how it turned out. Uh, one of my favorite looking designs I've made so far, honestly. And again, <laughs> it is because uh, I took inspiration from a different artist, Sky Hornet. Um, they are an incredible artist, which I will be linking in the description below. Be sure to check them out. But I was scrolling through their Twitter, and seeing their art just... It, it encouraged me to try and push the design further, which led me to the one I'm so happy with now. Uh, one last thing. I still think I need to work on differentiating Rom and Verus's craftsmanship. Uh, this design does look a bit too similar to something that Verus would make. Um, same with the architecture. I've been avoiding it because, well, it's hard. But I do have some ideas that might be interesting, so we will see. Again, the dwarf is now available, so if you want to get your hands on your very own dwarf, you can do that in the description below. And tell me in the comments as well if you did get one. Thank you all for your wonderful support, and especially my patrons for making this possible. Genuinely. Thank you. Take care.